Okay, so people who are just learning how to work with a torch and are wanting to melt uh, a few ounces of silver always ask me what's a good torch. Well, I went to the Home Depot and I bought this map gas torch. And it's got a little, you can hang it on your belt loop, I guess. I'm going to hang it off to the side. But it comes with this particular handle here and you have a couple options and the two options are you can get it where the handle connects directly to the bottle or you can get it where it has a hose and it's it's actually really important to get the one with a hose and the reason that is is if this is attached to the container and as the container becomes emptier and emptier with the gas, when you tip it forward, uh, the gas is, is not going into the torch anymore, and it goes out. So the only, the only time it works when it's getting low is when it's sitting upright. So I, I suggest this is the... They call it the TS-4000. I bought it last year. And, it, like I say, it's got the hose. This cost me about 80 bucks, And I bought it simply to test. And so you push the red button. And it starts. And then you can push the one on the top here. And it stays on. And so for heating... Uh, this works fairly good. Now, of course, I, I came up with this idea using uh, the fire brick and a holder. But um, you can do it out of here, too. It just works a little faster when it's down in here. So what you have to think about is how much it's going to cost you in fuel to melt your metal. And if it's taking too long, then it just gets to be too expensive. So we're coming up on about two minutes now. And it's just starting to become molten. We could throw a little borax on there. So you know this isn't too bad. We're we're about two and a half minutes and this is ready to pour, so I feel pretty good about that. We'll turn this off. You don't even need a uh, striker, you just it's got its own automatic igniter there. So anyways, I just wanted to show you that.